Hello everyone, this is Adam Anderson, Product Trainer at Maple Systems. Welcome back to our EB Pro training series. In the last video, we discussed online and offline simulation, and we showed how some minor modifications we made to a project window could be shown in simulation mode to verify everything is working as expected. In this video, we'll show you how to set up bit lamps and toggle switches. To begin, we're going to create a new user-defined tag. So we'll go to the Project tab, click on Address, select User Defined Tags, click New. This time we're going to select Bit. This is for bit, boolean, or discrete memory in the HMI. And we'll use local bit 0 for this. We're going to name this MyBool1. And then we'll go ahead and click OK and exit. Now we'll go to the Object tab and we're going to select Bitlamp first. Click on Settings for the read address. Note that we have Bitlamp selected here. We'll show you toggle switch in just a moment. But click on the Settings button here, click User Defined Tags. Then you can select your new User Defined Tag. Click OK. And go over to the Shape tab so you can get an idea of what it will look like when it's off and on. And we'll go to the Label tab and add a label like this. So in the off state, it will have a white text, Arial size 16. If you click on this one, you'll see the next state. So the second state will have the word on with black text. We'll go ahead and click OK, and we can add this to our window here. All right, now if you want to get a feel for what it's going to look like here, just the one state to the other, you can use the state language toolbar from the home tab. So you can click on S1 and see the next state and go back to S0 to see the initial state. So it starts this off. So that will simply show us whether that bit is, is on or off. And we'll go next and create a toggle switch. And we'll use the same read and write address here, my bool one So this will be our way that we can toggle that bit. Toggle switch is selected here. And the switch style is toggle. You also have the option to do momentary, so we'll just flip it on for a moment and then it will go back off. We're going to use toggle for now. Take a look at the shape. This is what it will look like in the off and on state. And we don't want to use any label on this one, so we'll click OK and then add this to our window too. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and save this and then run a quick offline simulation and take a look at what it looks like. Note that we also added this new window for this functionality. And on the Home tab, we have that function key to take us to that window. So we'll click Offline Simulation now. It will recompile the project for us quickly. Now we can click here to go to that new window. We see that the starting state is off for that bit. We can click on the toggle switch to turn it on. OK, and that's all for the simulation. That's all we need to see. That's working fine. So we'll close that. We'll go back here and we'll talk about the set bit, which is another type of bit action or function that we can use. So here we have different styles that we can use. A set bit will generally be hidden. You'll be placing it on the window, or if you want, you can have a shape if you're using the toggle or momentary styles here. But for example, if you want to set on a bit when the window opens, as in when you navigate or when an operator navigates to this window, we can do that with set on when window opens. So let's do that and do a quick test so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so there's no shape. We'll click OK and add that. You just see the outline there and the object address and object ID. There's no picture or anything. So we'll go ahead and run the offline simulation again. And this time when we navigate to the window, we should expect to see it on. And it is. There we go. And we can still turn it off and on again. So if we go back to home and then come back to this window one more time, it'll be on one more time. So that set bit functions in that way. Set on when window opens. We can also set off when window opens. Do the same types of actions when it closes. And then the backlight, we'll take a look at this. So the backlight can be set to turn off after a certain period of time. Basically, the display goes to sleep. 
So if you wanted to set on a bit or set off a bit when the backlight comes on, as in after the HMI has been asleep for a while, operator presses on the screen, set on a bit for some reason or set off a bit, we can do that. And same thing when backlight goes off, we can set a bit on and off. So when the display goes to sleep, we can perform this action. If you wanted to do that, just note where the sleep settings are here. If you go to system parameters in the home tab, click on the general tab here, and we have this under the screen saver section. So backlight saver by default after 30 minutes, it's going to turn off the display. And then if any alarm goes off, the backlight will come back on. So the screen will turn back on. So you have that option. You can disable that if you want to. We also have a screen saver that will come on after 25 minutes and it will show the screen saver window which is built in. You can change this, you can modify that window too if you want to. But just note that that's the default behavior. So screen saver shows after 25 minutes, display turns off after 30 minutes. And so you might use that in conjunction with a set bit and these backlight options here. In the next video we're going to be showing you how to set up a simulated level, like a tank level, and then visualize this with a bar graph. So check that out.